Hey guys, and welcome back to another update for my 23 and 2023 project, Pan Project. Um, I'm just gonna say it right off the bat, I don't think there's any new empties this month from last month, which is disappointing, but some are getting a lot closer. But we're still gonna check in and do our monthly progress report on this, but... <laughs> I know, guys, I'm getting more and more nervous all the time that some of these are not going to hit empty by the end of the year. We only got a couple months to go, and there's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 that have not yet been finished out of the 23. It's getting a little disheartening, but I don't know, we'll see how close we can get, because, I mean, even if it's not perfection, it's still that many more things that got finished than otherwise would have, but still. So again, we start, as always, with the EOS Cranberry Pear Lip Balm that that was one of the first finishes of the year. Long gone. Same with the Little Moon Essentials Peppermint Stick. Also long gone. Then our Illamasqua Hydra Nail. Wherever it is in here. Somewhere. I know it's in there. I just saw it. There it is. Empty. Still smells great. Still makes me miss it every time that I reopen it up. I'm just like, man. Part of me is like, why did you just use it up for the sake of using it up? Then I have to remind myself so it wouldn't go bad and then be wasted and not used up. Shocker. And then in a shocking development to exactly nobody, the Neutrogena Clear Body Oil Free Sunscreen. Still not empty. Don't know that I even used it once since the last update, because I really haven't gone outside much at all. <laughs> like, at all at all. So, same story for the other one when I get to it, but... The Bliss Rose Gold Rescue General Foam Cleanser. Empty, but that's been empty, so that's nothing new. Um, the other sunscreen still remains unfucking touched starting to insult myself with this one. And since we may have just had our last heat wave of the year over the past weekend, I don't know that these are gonna get used because, yeah, yeah, I know what people say, but, well, even just sitting by a window, you should wear sunscreen because you may raise through the window. I'm like, yeah, but we have UV treated windows. So it kind of feels like a freaking waste to do that when I'm not even going outside, so. I don't know. I don't know. Still trying to light a fire under my butt to use them the hell up so they don't just go to waste and get tossed. Anyway, so... Cottage Greenhouse. Um, pomegranate Facial Serum. Empty, but it has also been empty. Both of the Pixie Skin Treats things. Still not empty, but... More use has been put on this guy. I mean, it's... I mean, it's not that far down from last time. I haven't used it that many times, but I mean... It's slowly, but surely, going somewhere. I'm just realizing more and more all the time what a mistake it was to roll both of these into the same project like this, because it's like, it's hard enough to go through one of these in a year for me, because I don't use it every single day. But doing two of them was a horrible plan because this guy is still like unfucking touched. I think I've used it like twice all year. It's so sad. But, 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 but. where is it? This doesn't seem like much for the Hey Honey Show Your Glow um, Chloe Dole Gold and Honey Beauty Mask. I'm on the last one. Yeah, yeah, the one that I had been on for freaking ever. I used that one up, so now we're on the last one. Granted, the universe thought it was a joke to send me another one in Ipsy in September. I'm not counting that one in this project because I did not have it in January, therefore I'm only counting the three that I eventually, or that I initially started with, and this is the last of the three. I can do this. I can totally use this up by December. That is not that hard to do. Throwing in a surprise fourth, not gonna happen, but but the third, yes, doable, and probably maybe by next update, hopefully, 
maybe. Um, I just have to be really good about remembering to use it. But given there's a couple other masks also in right now, it's hard to really put that much focus on any given one. But as things are dwindling down, it's getting easier to laser focus on the ones that are still left after that. But I'll probably do a similar project to this next year, whatever's not used up from this one. They'll be the first things rolled into that one to try to, you know, graveyard project pan those suckers. But anyway, so, um, do, 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 do. then we have the Burt's Bee Sensitive Toner that's been used up for a while. It's empty. It's been empty. Nothing new to report. Same with the three body creams here from Bath and Body Works, Wonder Candy Apple, Sweet Escape, and Champagne Toast. Also all been empty for months. Nothing new to report. But they are completion stories, so at least there's that. Nacella Creme Rose. Also used up. A newer used up. Don't remember if I did it by last update or not or if I was just really close, but this one is like 100% gone now. So that one's done. Um, the Murad Clarifying Cleanser. Hate used it till it was gone. Is gone. We'll never buy this shit again. Hated it. Hated it. So, there's that one. Um, mum, 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 mum. Interesting update with this one, the Elf Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. I have been bitching all year about this guy. The whole reason this one got rolled into this project was because I thought the pump broke. And so I was trying to unscrew it and use a spatula to scoop it out. There's still a decent amount in there, so there's still a ways to go on it. But I also rolled it into my American Panning Story project this month. And while I was doing the intro for that, my hand hit this wrong and it turned the nozzle and I am a fucking dumbass. Apparently it, it's one of those that you turn it to unlock it when it's not used. And I forgot that because when I first got this, it was right before I started working at that fucking pizza place a few years ago. I had used it like once and then set it somewhere, forgot about it. Apparently by the time I tried to use it a second time, forgot that was a thing, thought the pump was broken. The little, it technically technically has a little arrow imprinted up here, but do you see that? Hell no! Unless you hold it in the light just right, you do not see that. So my dumb ass thought this has been broken for like three years. It's not broken, it works just freaking fine. I'm an idiot. But, see, this is why I'm glad that I do these projects, because I found out completely by mistake happy accident that apparently it's not broken after all and oh my god it's so much nicer and easier to use being able to use the freaking pump the way it was intended just saying just saying so it has seen a good number of uses since the last update it still has a ton in there i'm still skeptical about whether or not it'll get used up by the end of the year but at least now that i know the pump's not broken i am way more liable to actually reach for this stuff given that it's quick and easy to use that way instead of having to use a spatula and take it all apart and open it and do it that way and then have to clean the spatula after. It's a pain in my ass and I don't like doing it that way. I am so freaking happy to find out this is not in fact broken, especially since I do have a second bottle of this somewhere to also use up. And I had been strongly considering selling that on eBay if I thought the pump on this legitimately had been broken that quickly, that easily. I was like, I am not doing this twice. And I'm like, oh wait, Given I'm just a dumbass, I think I'll keep it, actually. I'll use it, too. But anyway. So, yeah. It has seen a good number of uses, like, at least half a dozen uses just since the last update. Because I realized that. Thank God. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a more exciting update next month or in December with that one, given that it is far more usable now than it has been the majority of this year. <laughs> Boy, I wish I'd realized that sooner, but... At least now we know. <laughs> now we know. So, uh, the Shea Moisture blah 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 title. The, the leave-in conditioner. I'm not reading off the whole time. I don't have it in me today. I'm not doing it. That one. Uh, it's approximately where it was last update. I've used it like two or three times since the last update. It's to right here currently. So, I mean, this, it ain't getting used up by the end of the year. I can tell already, but that's okay. 
That's okay. If there were one to roll into next year, I feel better about it being that one than this one. Since this one's a lot older and it's on the verge, you know? Uh, but this one is down to here now. So it, it's, you know, it's getting there. It's a good amount under the letters now. I think last update it was on that bottom row of letters. Doesn't seem like a lot, but still. Whatever progress I can put on this guy by the end of the year, even if I have to roll it in for a little bit next year, at least it'll be that much less time that it'll take to use it up next year. Since I can tell, it's it still works fine, it still smells fine, but the color of the project uh, project of the product is starting to change a little so I'm like mm, mm, it's on the verge it's on the verge I need to hurry up and get it used so there is that and it makes me sad because I think that product is discontinued so once it's gone I have one more bottle in reserve that I will need to whip through like crazy because I got it at the same time as that one and it'll just hurt my soul if it goes to waste. So I really, really loved that product. That was my favorite ever leave-in conditioner aside from like that one by way. So yeah, end of an era, but at least there's other It's a Temp products that I've tried now that I also like. So it'll be fine one way or the other, but I do need to get them used up like badly, badly. So there's that. Um, there is the Cookies and Dreams Overnight Mask. Let me just push it all down in the tube so I can get a better read on where we're at. Because there is, like, a lot of air bubbles in here currently. I'm trying to not squeeze out product by mistake. So I'm doing this slowly and methodically to get a good read on this right now. But so far, it looks like, if I am not mistaken... Where are we at? This is about... Okay. Well, that makes it easy, because it looks like with the air bubbles pushed out of it, it's right about, with the exception of just little bits that are squished up on the sides here, right around the edge of this blue line here, right above where the clear window is. So, if there's only that much left, I'm feeling a little more hopeful that maybe it's doable this year? Maybe. But if not, it shouldn't take very long at all into next year. But since I really am, like, trying to whip through this just at this point out of pettiness, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't use these every single day. You're not supposed to use them every single day. So trying to space it out to where everything gets used in a timely manner, it does get tricky. Especially since I'm also additionally still doing ones that I'm reviewing too that are new in tandem with these so it's like well there's only so many days in the month you know so anyway that's where we're at with that it does have progress it's visible progress that makes me feel better about it much better than this guy which I don't think no no I did use it once in this past month it's just such a pain in my ass that I hate the cleanup with it. I hate it so much. So, so much. Why did I roll it into this fucking project? I don't know. I think I thought it was just going to be an excuse to use it quickly and not have to worry about it anymore, but as we see, it is not going quickly. and I am still hating on it just as much, so very high probability I'm predicting that this will end up rolled into next year, because I don't see myself realistically going through all of that, plus all of this, plus all of that, before December 31st. I just don't see it happening. Especially with this guy. I have the least faith in this one. It has the most in it, and it's the one that I hate using the most. I at least enjoy the other two, but this one, that freaking pumice that gets all over everything, and no matter how many times you rinse, it's just still there. Oh my god, I hate it so much. And inevitably, of that little bit of pumice that no matter how many times you rinse your face, it seems like there's always just a little bit that you miss, and then it clogs a pore, and then you have a zit. It just, it's not exactly making for much motivation in wanting to use that one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so there's that. Ah, oh, goodness. Anyway, so... There's that guy. This one, again, I'm just trying to hate use it to get it done and get it gone. We are currently there with it. Down a little, 
very little bit since I can only use a little at a time. If I put it in my hair while it's wet before I blow dry it, it takes frigging forever to blow dry my hair to get this to actually dry. If I put it on my hair while it's dry, it looks like I haven't bathed in about two weeks. So there is no winning with this guy. I am almost petty enough to just toss it and cut my losses and deal with the fact that I wasted almost $10 on this, but... I am also stubborn and I am trying to make myself just use it, but it's hard. It is really, really hard with this one. I hate it so much. The fragrance on it is so strong that it gives me a headache every damn time. I can't give it to my sister because she gets migraines. So that's worse than my just run-of-the-mill headaches I get from it. My mom doesn't want it, hearing that it gives both of us headaches. So it's just like, well, I can either hate use it up or it'll go in the trash and be wasted, which I really am trying not to do if at all possible, but it's not making it easy. And then the last product is the Broadway Vita Lip Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss, which you can see I have let it settle, and the product is just below the word rose hip. So I want to say it was on about the middle of the E, where like the cross in the middle is on the last update so that's that's still progress but I am also on this one feeling less and less confident all the effing time that it's gonna happen by the end of the year I made it through my other lippies but this one is just very very slow going which is weird because the liquid ones usually go faster and this is the one liquid I had in the others were solids, but here we freaking are. So anyway, that is the update. Not very exciting this time because there was no new finishes, but I'm hopeful. I'm so freaking hopeful about this guy. Hopeful about this guy. Hopeful about this guy. Hopeful about this guy. If I would just force myself to use this guy, it would only be like one or two uses and it'd be gone. But everything else... I'm not feeling very confident about, but maybe that'll change. Maybe. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, but as of right now, I am not feeling that confident. So, that is the update. Take it for what you will. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.